What we want to talk about here is rivalries, when a player comes back to a club that they previously played at, and there's always a welcoming embrace from yeah. their, their former teammates. Um, has that happened to you? Yeah, I had uh, some, I'm a bit better now. I'm older, and um, but when I was younger, I left Northampton and went to Saracens. It was quite difficult for me, and I'm sure it is for many lads. When you leave one club and go to a, there was quite a bit of rivalry too between Northampton and Saracens at the time. Um, so I, f I did find it quite difficult because you have good friends at one club and you go to another one, so you want to try and get one over them. You tried to eat Alex Waller's arm <laughs> at one point. Is that going a bit too far? Um, yeah, definitely too far. He hit me in the mouth. I didn't bite him. So I'll deny that. <laughs> technicalities, technicalities. <laughs> uh, ben, I mean, well, you you were just you were just a, a Tigers uh, all the time. But did you ever give anyone a nice warm embrace when they returned? Yeah, there was one time with Will Greenwood fairly soon, a year after I joined, I think, and uh, he, he carried the ball up and was probably a, a little bit uh, peeved with the way he was tackled or something. So he decided to... Um, just get up swinging a few, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, no, literally 15 people concertinaed in and rucked right over the top of him, gave him a shoe in. There was a uh, bit of a, a scuffle and he got up all rock hard. I mean, he's hard, hard as nails, Will. And the first person he squared up to was Jono. And I just started laughing. I said, mate, out of everyone you could have squared up to, why did you pick him? You should have picked one of the smaller ones like Ben. <laughs> His eyes, when, when he jumped up very aggressive with those aggressive closed eyes and then... His eyes just opened to sheer fear <laughs> as everyone piled into it. Well, but Joe Marler probably didn't think it with fear, but when he uh, he had a little bit of a, a set to one of the Dupreas on Friday night, and when he realised that you take on one, you take on all three brothers, did yeah. he think, ah, I may have misjudged this? Yeah, it's normally in a, in a bar or two, a nightclub with those three. But this time... <laughs> <laughs> Tell tale. <laughs> this time it was on the pitch. Uh, I think it was just Joe being Joe. At real time, it didn't look like much, to be honest. But it doesn't take much to wind those lads up now. Well, uh, Paul Gustard uh, said it was called it ridiculous. And when, when you look in the context of the game, what, what Joe Marler did was a, was a little bit stupid yeah. and ill-advised. You can see what he was trying to do, though, because they were under a huge amount of pressure. <laughs> they were, uh, were going to concede. And I think he went over to try and just start something, but he hit him a little bit too hard. If he'd have just nudged him and then got whacked, he'd have got the penalty, they'd have cleared the lines, he'd have been a hero. But he walks over and just puts his hand in the face. And it, all he's trying to do is, he thinks, right, I've got an opportunity here. I've just put my hand in the face there and push him. <laughs> but he catches him too hard. It's the look on his it's face. Like, what? What? What it's, that's exactly what he wants. He wants someone to swing at him, hit him. He goes down. You get a penalty. Harlequins clear the lines. He ends up as a hero. But unfortunately for Joe, he just catches him a little bit too hard. You get the feeling maybe he'd got a, he'd got a, some you know, new deodorant or new, new cologne for Christmas. Uh, what do you think? Does that smell cologne? nice? Cologne. 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 Do you have a cologne? Oh, you've changed. I know. I'm 53. We have cologne. Um, those in, uh, those inter uh, club relationships, you get it with England, obviously, as well. When you when you go away with England and you're all mates, and then you, you're in a match. And I, Jason Leonard was stood over. Martin Johnson got tackled, and he had loads of bodies on top of him. And John, I see, you could just feel this like searing pain in his ankle. So he's he's chucking bodies off himself, left throwing them out of the ruck, and he gets rid of the last one. He just looks up, and there's Jason Leonard standing on him with those really long th uh, studs, just <laughs> twisting his end, going. He <laughs> said he just lost it completely. The referee's blowing his whistle. You know, don't you dare throw that punch. Love it, love it. He would have found it maybe later in a training session that would have come out. Um, we were chatting earlier. We were working out what we're gonna, how we're going to put all this together because we do discuss how we're going to put all this together. Um, and you were saying that, that Saracens pulled you from a semi-final against North. Well, I, I, I said that. It's probably the, what Mike McCall would probably just say. He dropped me from he dropped the game. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, but, yeah, we had them in a semi-final. And I always, I did always play differently against Northampton because you get yourself so wound up about it. You want to play well and you put a lot of pressure on yourself. But in the game, you're actually distracted from what you just should be doing your job. And uh, obviously, Mark's a, a wiser man than me, and he would uh, he took me out of that game. There was an incident at the, at the end of your uh, very impressive win over Harlequins on Friday. Um, when Marlon Yard, who clearly has a little bit of history mm. with Harlequins, left that club under a bit of a cloud, and Chris Robshaw said it was a better place with him having left. Um, there was quite a bit of uh, pushing and shoving uh, in this situation. Um, and there's Marlon Yard. He, he lands on the back of Chris Robshaw as though he's about to try and get onto a lilo in a swimming pool. Um, but it does get things going. Matt Simmons takes a, objection to that. Um, but clearly Marlon Yard had an axe to grind. As it looks like he, yeah, he saw a bit of an opportunity there just to land on uh, Robo's back. I don't think there's much in it. But it just what it causes these days, if it causes a mess, then you're going to go off.
good to see. <laughs> you the, only, the only thing you mentioned about actually uh, not playing in, in a game against his old club, we had Rod Kafer as our coach, and the last game of the season was uh, a playoff game to see which team out of Saracens and Leicester would qualify for Europe the following season. And Rod Cafe was going to be head coach of Saracens the following year. So Dean and uh, John Wells went, well, you're not coaching us this week. I have an early holiday. They actually <laughs> oh, really? effectively sacked him in the last week because they thought that he might get the team he was going to coach next year, European qualification 